Hello viewers, Python has got libraries like matplotlib and seaborn where you can create different types of visualizations on the data. You can check my channel for these videos. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a project for visualizing the Python data using Microsoft Power BI. Microsoft has got a good documentation on this integration. You can check out my description box where I have placed the Microsoft reference link. To create any visualization, what we need is data. For this purpose, I am creating two pandas data frames to hold students data. The scenario is this, the sports day of a school is fast approaching. So the students from various standards and sections are participating in the events. Also the students are segregated into various house like house 1 and house 2. So this project is all about identifying which group won overall across the various sports activities and the game wise code. We are going to split this activity into two parts. The first part is to build the data in data frame and the second part is to import this data into Power BI for various visualizations. This is the Python code where I am going to use the pandas data frame. So for that I will be importing pandas as pd and I have got two data frames. One is the list for students and the other one is the list for sports. The student list is going to hold registration number, student name, house category, house name and the grade as the columns. And the sports data frame is going to use registration number, sport and the points as columns in this data frame. Now let's go ahead and create the Power BI reports. So to create the Power BI reports with Python, First, we have to make sure Python is installed in our local machine. The next step is to install two Python packages using PIP, which are pandas and matplotlib. The third step is to enable the Python scripting in Power BI desktop. This is how the Power BI desktop will look like when we first open it. To enable the Python scripting, go to the options and settings, then click on options. There you can see the python scripting, click on it. So the python script page appears here. In the detected python home directories, check if the path detected there is the path where the python installation exists. Once after you set it, click on ok. So once the environment setup is done, we can now go ahead and paste our python script in Power BI. Click on get data from other sources. There, search for Python and then select the Python script and give connect. This is where you can paste your Python script. So I'm pasting the Python script which I've created in Jupyter Notebook. Click on OK. This will establish a connection to Python. The navigator window then pops up with all the data frames that we have created in the Python script. So we can select the required data frames there and then click on load. Once after the data frames are loaded, in the data section you can see both the data frames appearing as tables along with the columns inside the data frames. Now let's create a very simple visualization on the df underscore sports table. Click on any one visualization. The chart template will appear on the screen. Next, we need to define the x and the y axis of this chart. I want to understand which sport got the maximum points. So I will drag and drop the sport along the x-axis and the points along the y-axis. With the available data, we can see a maximum score for chess when compared to football, shuttle or table tennis. But the basic idea is to check which house is in the leading place. So I have the data across two tables. DF underscore students holds the student name, the registration number, grade, house category and house name. Whereas the sports table holds only the registration number, sport and the points. So we need to join these two tables to know which house wins. Select df underscore sports. The table tools menu will pop up. Click on manage relationships. And then new relationship. In the from table select df underscore students and in the to table select df underscore sports. 
select the registration number in both these tables so the cardinality shows one to one make sure this make this relationship active is clicked on and then give save now these two tables are linked using the registration number click on the chart in the x-axis remove the sport and give the house name we can see that the orange house is having the maximum point followed by the blueberry house it will be more appropriate if we view it in a pie chart so click on this chart and then select the pie chart now go to the view menu and select the theme that you like there is another way of changing the theme of this particular pie chart go to the visualization format your visual click on slices where you can change the color of your slices this pie chart gives me only a high level overview but i want to know the point in each sport so go to build visual and there scroll down to the details where you can drag and drop the sports field there now this pie chart is going to show me two slices one for the house name which is blueberry and the other one for the house name which is orange and in each slice it is going to show me the divisions for each sport based on the data that we have provided in the data frame the font looks very small so go to the format your visual go to the detail labels and then scroll down to the values where you can change the font the size and the color of each font in that particular pie chart now let's add a new text box saying interhouse competition similarly i can add another chart to view a different metrics python pandas data into microsoft power bi for creating visualizations hope you like this video subscribe to my channel to get alerts on new videos related to python and data science